About a year ago, I reviewed this, the RadioMaster TX12 transmitter. And if you find a game style controller, like the Zorro, too small and fiddly, or you don't want to cart around a full-size transmitter, like this TX16S Mark II, a mini-size radio like this is perfect for you. It's got all the same buttons and switches as the full-size radio, but it's smaller and lighter and cheaper. And the great news is Radio Master have just brought the TX12 slap bang up to date with this, the TX12 Mark II. And following in the footsteps of the TX16S Mark II, this new version comes with an internal ELRS RC module and it's flashed with Edge TX. And there's a load of other great improvements hiding inside the case. Hello and welcome to the Whirly Blake channel. This is YouTube, you know what to do. Subscribe and hit the bell for more videos like this. Apart from this label on the front, this Mark II version looks identical to the original radio, but there have been quite a few improvements. This has got an internal 2.4 gigahertz Express LRS RC module, but there's still the slot in the back here so that you can use whatever module you may already have. So you could use an FR Sky, Crossfire, or even another ELRS module that's maybe a one watt, for example. So it means you can carry on using any RC modules that you've already got. Now, they've also updated the PCB design inside here, and they've changed the MCU to an STM32F407. Now, they've also improved the battery charging circuit, so it now uses Quick Charge QC3 protocol using this USB-C connector, which is tucked just down there. That means it'll charge faster from a USB smart charger or a power brick, whichever you use. Now, I can't remember what these gimbals are on the original radio, but they were interchangeable with the fancy CNC gimbals that you could get for the Zorro. These are very nice. But this has got Hall Effect gimbals as standard, and I suspect you could probably upgrade them to the expensive CNC gimbals if you wanted, but these do feel really nice, so there's probably no need. Now, the trend today is using Edge TX rather than Open TX, me included. So, Radio Master flashing this with Edge TX in the factory makes complete sense. Express LRS and Edge TX are the future for most of us. This came flashed with version 2.8.0 of Edge TX. Yes, that's 2.8.0, which is ahead of the Black Pearl 2.7.1, that's the latest official release. 2.8.0 is scheduled to be released in September sometime, but I assume that's where the TX16S Mark II is officially included in the code. And I've been playing with this, like, it's absolutely fine. Now, the case looks identical on the front. It's got the same switches and buttons, but internally they've updated the S1 and S2 rotary sliders on the side here. So, to be honest, I don't remember the last time you used sliders on a radio, so I wasn't really aware if that was a problem on the original. Anyway, they've updated those as well in this new version. The only physical change they've made are these rear grips. You can see here, they're now the full length of the case, and it just makes it a little bit more comfortable to hold. And, why they didn't supply an SD card ready flashed with the OpenTX config files on the original was a complete mystery. And thankfully, the Mark II comes with a suitable Edge TX one. It's just mounted down there, so clearly they've been listening. Other than that, it's pretty much the same radio. It's got the same 128 by 64 pixel mono display. It's got the same battery connections in here. You will need to supply your own 18650 cells, you need two of them. 
and you can upgrade it using a USB-C connection and you connect it to a PC running HTX Companion or use HTX Buddy or the fastest way just use the SD card and this weighs about the same and it's priced about the same at just under $100 or around £82 and with the improvements that Radio Master have made this makes a great choice if you're in the market for a mini size transmitter that won't break the bank. Now Radio Master have also released new versions of their ELRS receivers, the EP1 and the EP2. Now these aren't included when you buy a TX12 but they are available separately. These have also undergone some upgrades. Let's have a quick look. These two ELRS receivers are essentially the same. They're both nano sized 2.4 gigahertz receivers and they come ready flashed by Radio Master with Express LRS version 2.4. But this RP1 has the UFL connector on here so you can use their improved external T antenna. And there is another version of that that's got a slightly longer lead if you need one. And this RP2 has an improved ceramic antenna soldered directly to the PCB. Now this means that the RP1 weighs 2.2 grams including the antenna but the RP2 it only weighs 0.55 of a gram so these are perfect for whoops or small quads where weight is crucial. Now the range of these, the radio range, will be different and there's loads of videos out there testing the range of ELRS receivers and the various benefits of using an external antenna or the built-in ceramic one. So what have they improved on these? Well, mainly the PCB design. It's been changed so these pads are here are much larger so soldering connections is going to be a lot less fiddly and also there was some concern about heat buildup but this new design addresses all that and also really usefully they've moved the status lead from the bottom of the board where it used to be to the top and it was quite annoying having it on the bottom because that's usually where you use some UHB tape to fix it to the frame and you couldn't see the LED price on these is the same, they're $17 each and I'll leave links in the description where you can check out the latest prices and availability. So there we go, yet more goodness from Radio Master and a big thanks to Radio Master for sending me these products to have a look at. As always, thanks for watching and if you found this helpful why not subscribe or maybe buy me a coffee to support the channel and I'll see you next time.